Officials at a U.S. power company say they will permanently shut down a nuclear plant by the end of next year for financial reasons. The 41-year-old reactor at Vermont Yankee is the fifth reactor in the U.S. this year to be marked for closure. It's the same type of reactor as two of the units at Fukushima Daiichi. Entergy Corporation officials say they've made the decision because the price of natural gas is declining due to the increased production of shale gas. They say the plant's high running cost is another reason. Entergy and the state government have been in a lawsuit over extending the plant's operation. State officials have opposed the aging plant's continued operation on safety grounds following the nuclear disaster in Fukushima. Other nuclear uh, reactors in New Jersey, Wisconsin, Florida, and California are also being taken offline as supplies of low-priced shale gas increase. U.S. power utilities running old reactors are being forced to deal with higher costs because of stricter regulations prompted by the Fukushima disaster. People in Fukushima have been living with fear and inconvenience since the nuclear meltdown two years ago. They hear daily news about leaks of radioactive water at the crippled power plant, and many still can't go back to their homes. Community leaders say they've had it with nuclear plants. They're joining hands to demand the scrapping of all reactors in their prefecture, not just those that melted down. Leaders from four towns are working together. Two of those towns host the Fukushima Daiichi plant, which has six reactors. Four reactors there were crippled in the earthquake and tsunami. The other towns host the Fukushima Daini plant. That plant has four reactors. None was seriously damaged. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company have yet to say what they'll do with the six reactors that are intact. Mayors and assembly chiefs from the host towns got together to demand company officials scrap all 10 reactors. Some say they can think of no alternative, but residents have been forced to live as evacuees since the meltdown. The leaders plan to get assembly members to endorse their demand. Then they'll take that demand to government officials in Tokyo and officials at Tokyo Electric. We will strive not only to get the reactors scrapped, but also to help end the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Fukushima Prefecture Governor Yuhei Sato and members of his prefectural assembly have repeatedly called for all the reactors to be scrapped. The chief of the utilities, Fukushima headquarters, said he wants to discuss the issue with the townspeople. <laughs> We know we must take the feelings of residents seriously. But he said company officials can't reach a conclusion right now because they need to weigh both local views and the nation's energy policy. People in Japan will be relying on nuclear-free power next month for the first time in more than a year. The operator of the last two reactors still online plans to halt them for regular inspections. Kansai Electric Power Company wants to shut one reactor at the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture on September 15th. It's already applied to stop the other on September 2nd. Japan took all of its nuclear reactors offline for checks after the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. The Nuclear Regulation Authority allowed the Oi reactors to restart after they passed new safety guidelines. Operators of five other nuclear plants have also applied to put their reactors back online. Some survivors of the Nagasaki and Hiroshima bombings are celebrating victory in their battle to get government help. They spent years fighting in court to get officials to recognize them as sufferers of radiation-induced illnesses. Now, Prime Minister Abe says they've won. <laughs> We won't appeal the court ruling recognizing the plaintiffs as suffering from radiation-induced illnesses. Eight A-bomb survivors won a court case earlier this month. Judges ruled their illnesses were caused by radiation from the bombs. Government officials had denied any connection between their illnesses and the bombings.